What we said yesterday was if you have a current loop in a magnetic field, it will twist, right? It feels a torque. So if I take some of this iron and say I put it on a piece of paper, and now I apply some B field to this, and let's say that the B field is in this direction, then the little magnetic dipoles will align in that direction. Okay, and let's take another piece of this material and let's apply a B field in the opposite direction. Now all the little magnetic dipoles will align in the opposite direction. Okay, and I can do that again and again. Let's say this one is pointing this way, this one is pointing this way, that way, this way. To get these dipoles to point in a particular direction, all I have to do is flip the direction of my applied B field. But I know how to do that. I know how to make B fields now. I use a solenoid. So, I put a solenoid up here somewhere. Let's draw it like this. Okay, you might have to tilt it at some angle to get the B field in the direction that you want it to go. But this thing will make a B field, okay? And now if I apply current in one direction, it makes a B field in one direction. But if I reverse that current, it makes a B field in the other direction. All right, let's put all this iron onto a strip and let's roll it on by. Okay, and it's got a spool off from somewhere else. Okay, this is a big piece of tape now that is gonna roll past our solenoid. And as it rolls past the solenoid, the solenoid sends information one way or the other by changing the direction of the B field. Uh-huh. What if we just said this direction was a zero and this direction is a one? And this is a zero, and this is a zero, and that's a one, and that's a one, and so on and so on. Anybody know what type of device this is? When you see this, a string of zeros and ones, what do you think of? What's that? Yeah, this is a binary data stream, right? Here comes our set of bits. These are bits, zeros and ones coming at us. So if I write this information onto this device, I can in fact store stuff onto this magnetic material that coils up here. And this is what is called a tape cassette. Okay, and we have a tape cassette right here. And this is really showing my age here when I pull out one of these because a lot of you guys don't maybe recognize exactly what a tape cassette is because they're hard to find these days, right? Everything is CDs or everything is completely digital via your iPod or your smartphone or whatever. But this is what a tape cassette is. And there is a chunk of magnetic material and literally it's iron dust that is sprayed onto some substrate and you roll it past and there is a reader or a writer which consists of a solenoid and as it goes past it puts information on it. Now I showed you a, a digital system here. The old systems were analog, right? So it wasn't just zeros and ones, it was different levels. And as those levels went past, you can write information on it. But here's the really interesting thing. You can also read information. Okay, in physics, many things are reversible. So putting current in writes the information. 
But if I roll it past, it will generate current in the solenoid, and that's how you can read the information. All right? So this is what a tape cassette looks like. Now, you can do this with videotape, too. It just has more information on it than an audio tape. So here is a, a videotape. Right? And if you open up the front, you can see that magnetic strip. Okay? And that's going to roll past the read head. And then you can recover that information and project it. So this is probably something else that you guys haven't seen. This is uh, from my personal collection, uh, Caddyshack. Okay. One of the greatest movies of all time. So that's, that's your assigned viewing for tonight. Go see Caddyshack.